Las Vegas real estate market, October 2021. Flat pricing. As we have repeatedly written, home price appreciations slow down in August or September to Christmas in a typical Las Vegas real estate market. It is much easier to buy a home or condo from Thanksgiving to Christmas, which is the last opportunity to buy before they start to go up in February of the following year. So while a year that home prices escalate by 21% in the first nine months is anything but typical, the market has nevertheless temporarily slowed down. In this video, we will discuss why even the 1.1 months of active home listing inventory that you see in news articles is misleading. In reality, most buyers are priced out of a quarter of the meager available home listings, which we will explain by showing you active listings by price range plus the supply and demand ratio for sold homes. The median price and price per square foot of Las Vegas houses by October 2021, Las Vegas home price appreciation rates per month in 2021. Why are we predicting further home price appreciations in the future? What should buyers do in the current market? We will talk about getting underwritten approved to compete with cash buyers on the buyer side. If home sellers have to sell by February of 2022, why for the first time in a few years, we recommend that they list their home for sale right now. First, let's take a look at the current Las Vegas housing market statistics for single family homes. The active listing inventory of single family houses at the beginning of October 2021 stands at 3,426, while 3,689 home listings have been added and 4,193 are currently under contract. However, home sales have dropped by to 3,229, virtually unchanged from August sales, which is not unusual. Days on the market until going into contract have risen by three days from August to 19 days in September, and the ratio of sales prices to the original asking list price is at 100%. After a week of listing a condo, we got two phone calls from buyer's agents on the same day, stating that they would make an offer on it. A day later, we got a full price cash offer, which the seller accepted. Three days later, we got a financing offer of $15,000 less than the, than the asking list, which we rejected. So three days late and $15,000 short will not get her anywhere. Here is the difference between a good buyer's agent's knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable about the Las Vegas real estate market and one who isn't. One succeeds and the other one fails and keeps failing. To gain some insight into available listings, we are going to show them by price range. As of October 5th, 2021, only 38 available home listings or listings that aren't under contract are published in the MLS with an asking list price of less than $250,000. Please note that we are pulling all houses in a city of 2 million without filters like bedrooms, baths, lot area, or, lo or location. 103 single family homes have sold in this price range in September. So demand is outpacing the supply by 270%. Of these, only three are two-story homes, two -story homes built after 2000. 33 were one-story homes built more than 40 years ago. The following price range is from $251,000 to $376,000, the FHA loan limit, plus a 3.5% down payment. Only 620 listings are available in this price range, including 176 two-story houses, 438 one-stories, and only 188 were built after 2000. 1,234 home listings have sold in September in this price range, so demand is at 180% of the supply. Homes priced less then the FHA loan limit are responsible for the price hikes in September. So FHA loan buyers who used to represent most transactions can choose from only 658 listings in the Las Vegas Metro and are priced out of the rest. 
The conventional loan limit in Clark County is $548,250, which with the addition of a 20% down paper, payment equals $658,000. 1,880 houses are listed in this price range, while 1,540 units have closed in September, so the demand to supply ratio is at 82%. So even conventional loan buyers with a 20% down payment are priced out of 888 of 3,426 listings and have 2,538 choice, choices, which are more than double the 1,298 listings in June 2021. The slowdown in home price appreciation can be partially attributed to this increase. Demand is only 51% of the listings supply in this price range. The other reasons for the slowdown in price gains are lower cash flow from investing in Las Vegas real estate, which has decreased by a couple of points since January, again resulting in a pullback by the investors. Median price and price per square foot of Las Vegas homes by October of 2021. Supply and demand in real estate are measured as the months of listing inventory calculated by dividing available listings by the unit sales in a month. It stands at 1.1 months, which is a significant increase from 0.6 months in June, but far from three to four months of listing inventory, which is considered normal. The median price of Las Vegas homes for September is $406,100 which is about 0.5% higher than August and 17.7% higher than January 2021. But the median price only shows the market activity in lower price ranges. A better criterion to measure home price appreciation is the price per square foot of units calculated by dividing the total square footage of all houses sold with accumulated price in a period. For example, the price per square foot of the single family homes for September 2021 is $230 per square foot. Las Vegas home price appreciation rates per month in 2021. This table shows the median and the price per square foot appreciation of homes sold in several periods. We will show the median price gains, but we'll discuss price per square foot appreciations. The following table shows the price per square foot appreciation in the last 12 months and every month in 2021. Las Vegas homes price per square foot appreciated by an incredible rate before August. After a respite, price gains will start in 2022 as we will explain why later. Why are we predicting further home price appreciations in the future? Tight inventory is not unusual in the Las Vegas real estate market. In the last four years and five months, we have hit four months of listing inventory once and have been over three months inventory for seven months. So the months of listing inventory have been less than two months for about 29 months. In 2017, the months of listing inventory hovered around 1.5 months for the last 10 months, resulting in 14.5% in home price appreciation. And in 2018, when the months of listing inventory hovered about 1.8 months, home price gains stood at 12.75%. So as long as the listing inventory stays less than two months, one would expect high single digit to low double digit home price gains and we need a 90% increase in the months of listing inventory to get there. So that is the reason for predicting future home price appreciation in 2022. But since the demand comes down in fall and winter, the months of inventory will go higher until the end of this year. What should financing buyers do in a strong seller market? Buyers should get underwritten approved or close to it before making an offer so they can successfully compete with the cash buyers. Underwritten approved means that the buyers have done everything they will do after getting into a contract before writing a contract. We have explained how in the Mortgage Guide for Las Vegas Homes, Condos, High Rise Buyers video. We highly recommend that prospective buyers watch it. 
Why are we recommending to list your home right now for the first time in a few years? On the seller side, if you have to sell your home in the next five months, go ahead and list your home right now and preferably with us. We have extensively researched how to get the best price out of a listing and it works like a charm. Please call us at 702-478-7800 to start the process. You want to avoid selling your residence from Thanksgiving to Christmas and prices don't start to escalate until March of 2022. So it is best to list it right now. Additionally, we live in turbulent times and there is no guarantee that we will see the same appreciation rates in 2022. What should happen for prices to come down appreciably and why financing buyers shouldn't wait for it? For home prices to come down significantly, mortgage interest rates need to go higher. Keep in mind that the reason for the eye-popping home price appreciation has been historically low interest rates. However, inflation risk is real and interest rates could go up. Given that mortgage payments for a one-point increase in the interest rate equals 10% in home price appreciation, financing buyers may not profit from home price cuts due to rising mortgage rates. Las Vegas condos and townhomes market mirrors the single-family homes market, and our outlook for this sector is the same. If you want to buy or invest in Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes, please call us at 702-478-7800. Please find our contact info and web page with the embedded video and video transcript in the video description. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Las Vegas real estate channel for upcoming videos. This is Karen Saberzade of Realty One Group and Las Vegas Homes, Condos, and Luxury High-Rise Condos, wishing you a great day on behalf of the Sober team.